Hey guys, it's me, Super Day Rocket. And yes, I'm still not at home. Uh, Lina's trying to find us a way out of here. Well, while we wait, uh, let's get on to the next review on the Infinity Stone Marathon. And that is Captain America, the First Avenger. And let's get into it. So Captain America The First Avenger is the last Marvel movie before Avengers hit cinemas. The first Avengers movie back in 2012. Is it? 2012, yeah. And this movie shows the origin story of Steve Rogers' uh, quest to become a soldier in, the, in 1941. We, as you know, it 1941 is when the Second World War took place, so yeah, makes sense for Captain America. So yeah, the characters are alright. Um, we don't want to see them again. This is the only time most of them will play, play a prominent role in the Captain America series or any of the Marvel movies. The only one that will return is of course Bucky, which will play a, a very important role in the other films to follow. So yeah, uh, Bucky does alright here. So he plays as a good friend in for Captain America and yeah, it's pretty good. So yeah, I like that this film takes place in, in a, a different period of time and I like the characters, they're alright. It's not like a, they're going to be there for the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so they're alright for this movie. So yeah, there are some problems with this movie, and I can spot a lot more than the other movie I review, which is of course Thor. So, yeah, let's get into some problems with this movie, shall we? So, yeah, the main problem is uh, the story itself of the movie. So, yeah, it isn't really explained clearly on what they were going for in this movie. I, th I think they wanted to uh, tell the story. This story is about like sacrifice or it's or it's avenging which I feel like they could have put it more easily in the film when you know Bucky dies and maybe later on in the f later on after that scene Captain America will say that he will avenge Bucky I mean, come on the movie is is literally called Captain America the first Avenger so yeah I feel like they should have like add that to make it more clearly it's it's probably they were going for avenging. I saw the poster, this one poster, it just says avenge in front of Captain America. So yeah, maybe that's what they're going for. It's a nice teaser for Avengers and I feel like if they put that, it would be more, it, it'd be more uh, better for the Captain America trilogy as a whole because uh, the, the, mostly the trilogy is mostly about the friendship with Captain America and Bucky. So if they add that of him avenging Bucky and that continues the plot throughout the film. I feel like that would be better for the trilogy of Captain America. So yeah, I feel like that's good. It's not like they they didn't know they were gonna make a sequel. Of course they were planning it. They they technically planned it for, you know, Marvel Cinematic Universe and stuff. So yeah, that is one of the problems. The other problem is the ending. I don't really like the ending. I know people like some dark endings. This is not really that dark, but I feel like it doesn't really fit this film. So yeah, the him waking up and then realizing that he's in the future and all of that. I feel like at least at least we get at least show uh, the show in the film that uh, Steve Rogers found out that uh, Agent Carter is still alive. Then maybe ended up like there, uh, maybe see him going there or something. Don't see Agent Carter as old, but at least him knowing that, then maybe the, the 
film ends there or something like that with him talking in the in the background or something like that yeah i feel like that could be better if they did that for the ending i feel and i know that they would doing that so they can tease it because next movie is of course avengers they want to tease that but you know it's, it's not it's not there it's i i understand but i feel like it's i don't think the it had a good ending there and the end credit scene itself as well, it didn't really do much as well. It was it was pretty lazy actually. It, it just put the end credit scene for the end credits. The, they just put a scene from the Avengers film, which is the one where uh, Nick Fury comes to Steve Rogers him uh, while he was at the gym. That that's pretty much it. And I remember, I'm not sure if it was there, but I remember it was also lazy that they put a little slow motion uh, at the end and just put a small little music in there and then it just ends with the Paramount logo. I feel like it was, the end credit scene was also pretty lazy. I mean, yeah, it was, it was also pretty lazy in this film. Unlike the others, which they at least put a scene, at least the others had a scene like the Thor one, it, at least it makes sense. Here it was a bit lazy, so yeah, it felt a bit lazy. So yeah, that is some of the flaws I have with this film. It's a lot more than Thor, so I feel like Captain America is a bit more flawed. The first one is a bit more flawed than the first Thor film. So yeah, that, that's the problems I have. If they fix that, if they just fix it, it was only, it's technically uh, it can easily fix them if they manage to fix them. I feel like they'd be able to. I feel like the the movie would be a lot more better if they just improved it. it. I feel like it could be could have been an easy fix. So yeah, I'm not sure why they didn't do that. Yeah, that's all right. But even though this film is a, uh, a somewhat flawed, I feel like the entirety of the Captain America series is. I mean the trilogy is is the, at least the best trilogy in the Marvel Cinematic Universe has right now. The, the Iron Man is a bit messy as well as Thor, especially when you add Thor Ragnarok with the mix. Um, it's not like I'm not saying that Thor Ragnarok is bad. I'm I'm going to go more into Thor Ragnarok later on, of course, as well as Thor Dark World. Uh, yeah, the other two trilogies that we had was a bit messy, but Captain America, it still stands strong. It's, I feel like it's the best one right now, right now at least. Maybe there will be, maybe there will be a better one. Maybe this, maybe the next two Spider-Man films will also be good along with the other, the first one, or maybe the last Guardians of the Galaxy film goes perfectly with the other two. Uh, we don't know yet, but for now, Captain America takes the spot as the best trilogy in Marvel Cinematic Universe. And this is at least a good start, in my opinion, but not the best, but it's a good start for the trilogy, for its trilogy. So yeah, so with that said, alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know what else to say for this film. I want to make it at least, uh, hopefully this video is at, at least enough for you guys. So next up on the Infinity Store. Infinity Stone Marathon is Avengers. The Avengers. <laughs> There's no subtitle or anything, so yeah. Stay tuned for The Avengers, the first one. I'll see you guys later. Maybe in a different location, probably. Lena's almost trying to break into that dimensional well, whatever that is, so maybe we'll be in a different location once we meet again. So with that said, rock it on!